And check out the Tuesday menus to see where we're going to feed you little crumb snatchers. We're going to start off in Bearden this morning. Looks like it's morning rolls for breakfast and then beef burritos and mac and cheese and seasoned broccoli for lunch. That's different. Uh, you'll get fruit. That's fruity. All right, moving right along, Hampton. You guys are going to get cheese toast or bum, 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 a soup. For donut for breakfast, we we'll get you some crab crackers, some fruit, and some milk or juice. And lunch in Hampton, it's gonna be Nacho Supreme, Pintos, lettuce and tomato. Ooh, you get a cookie and some fruit. Out in Harmony Grove, breakfast is going to be French toast sticks, fresh fruit, and then lunch will be chicken soft taco, chips and salsa, refried beans, apple crisp, and fresh fruit. Hey, you don't want that? Eat a potato. Out can Fairview looks like pre-K breakfast is going to be cereal, fresh fruit, bug bite scrams, and milk. For the elementary breakfast, it'll be cereal, fresh fruit, orange juice, apple juice, or milk. Oh, and you get giant goldfish scrams. Middle and high school, it's either going to be Pop-Tarts or cereal, cinnamon bun, or ham and cheese croissant. you get fresh fruit, orange juice, apple juice, and milk. Pre-K lunch. Looks like chicken scanty. Whole kernel corn, pineapple tidbits, garlic Texas toast, and milk for the elementary. It'll be chicken skinny, whole kernel corn, a side salad, pineapple tidbits, fresh fruit, garlic Texas toast, and milk. And for you middle and high schoolers, it'll either be chicken skinny or cheese pizza. Whole kernel corn, salad bar will be open, pineapple tidbits, fresh fruit, garlic Texas toast, and milk. Well, there you go, lad. Well, we're feeding you on a terrific Taco Tuesday. But you ain't getting no tacos. With your menus, I'm JJ. Well, good morning, sunshine. What would you like for breakfast? How about some eggs and sauce? I'd really rather have bologna. Bologna? Bologna? Yeah, bologna. Why would you want that? It is National Bologna Day today. I don't like bologna. I love it. If he wants bologna, then... Okay, okay. Who doesn't love bologna? Today is National Bologna Day. Good luck figuring out what's in that. Good luck spelling it. It's showtime. Wake up! O S C A R. M A Y E R. I know the name of my baloney. It's Fred. <laughs> Morning, Doc. Dr. Meyer. That's just me, Doc. I'm just saying. Well, I know who cooks my baloney, too. C L I F T O N. Uh huh. He does that smoke. B O L. Well, he doesn't really. He doesn't like really cook it. He, well, you know, it, it comes out better. He, it comes out more gooder. He he smokes it. It's more gooder. Yeah, it is all gooder. I need to know. It is definitely more gooder though. He hadn't done that in a while. I though. know. I mean, you good, bro? Please. Is he is he holding out on us? I think he is. Is he mad at us? Probably. <laughs> it's what I get for making fun of him and not Angela. Uh huh. Well, I mean, she signs checks. So, you know. Well, that is true. I mean, you know, well, <laughs> duh. <you know. laughs> All right, let's see uh, what's going on in the world today, Doc Bryce. Oh, uh, anything locally that we need to uh, hammer out? No, we got some workshop tonight. Oh yeah, 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 the city council thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, aren't they rehashing something that they've rehashed like twelve times already? Yeah, that somebody can't seem to figure out. So that one. Alderman is like, we need to have a workshop so we can talk more in detail about this. I see. You know, it'd just be easier if they just do it during regular business hours. And uh, well, stuff would get done. Yeah, but you know, when they when they convene, if there's if there's like two or more of them, then they have to contact me and Bradley. See, and I would like it if it was done during business hours instead of tying up my evening. Well, yeah, it's all terribly, terribly inconvenient. I mean, I don't mean to sound, you know, uh, self-centered or anything like that, but I do appreciate my evenings, and uh, I do appreciate the fact that I only have to go to city council once a month, not three times a month, because there's another one coming up after this one. See, you you remind me of this Gen Z lady, right? She was in tears because of her 9-to-5 job. 
Have you heard this? I may have, because uh, there was one that, that was going on about how she hates her job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. I know I'm probably just being so dramatic and annoying, but this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college, and I'm in person, and I'm commuting in the city, and it takes me forever to get there. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford living in the city right now, so that's off the table. Like, duh! If I was able to walk to work, and it w- it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me, like, I leave here, like, I get on the train at 7.30, and I don't get home till like, 6.15 earliest, and then, like, I don't have time to do anything. I don't, I want to shower, eat my dinner, and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like, I don't have energy to work out. Like, that's out the window. Like, I'm so <laughs> upset. Oh, my what? God. Oh, nothing to do with my job at all but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy being in the office nine to five like if it was remote you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine but like i'm not home it takes me long to get home and like <laughs> like people that drive to the office like it doesn't you don't get off at five and i know it could be worse i know i could be working longer but like i literally get off it's pitch black like i don't have energy how do you have friends like how do you have time to like meet like a guy i don't know like how do you have time for like dating like i don't have time for anything and i'm like so stressed out and i'm also getting my period so that's why i'm all emotional but like am i so dramatic it's fine yeah (laughs) okay here's the difference i've been working non-stop since i was 14 so since 1987 before because uh the, the 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 age was 16 before you could be legally employed. And so I had to finagle some paperwork to be able to start two years early because I wanted that financial independence from my parents. Like, oh, my God, Doc Rice is just, like, going on this rant. Like, it's just not right, Doc. Yeah, but see, now I'm 51. I've put in my time. (laughs) And now I want to enjoy my evening. Your priorities change as you get older, you know. That you, they do. The, that you, they do. You want to put in more family time. You want to be able to put in more downtime and uh, be able to focus on, on on things around your house. Things that are truly important, right? Yeah, the things that you uh, enjoy that bring back the serenity <laughs> of dealing with aldermen. Yes. Well, there you go. I, I I got some good news for you, though. What was that? KFC. You know, they usually serve their food in buckets. But occasionally they mix things up. Oh, they put it in a box? No, they just announced that they're bringing back their wraps. Well, they could put wraps in a bucket. Apparently popular enough to be come back again worthy. It's not that, that hard to put a wrap in a box. You they just a box. weren't popular enough to become a permanent menu item like the last time. They're only back for a limited time. Oh, they make ribbed oh, it. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But now they have a new variety, and I am kind of excited about this, Doc Brass. Uh-huh. The mac and cheese wrap. Ooh. Oh, yes. You get a piece of fried chicken wrapped up with their cheddar macaroni and cheese Wait, and finished got, with more cheese. Has it got bones in it? You, well, I hope not. It's in a wrap. <laughs> okay. And then they sprinkle uh, uh, a little more cheese. Uh-huh. Yeah, some three-blend cheese. Why not, right? The other two options are the classic and the spicy slaw wrap. Ooh, and you can get two for five bucks beginning on November 12th. Is that right? Two for five bucks, Doc Bryce. Ooh. That is a monster of a deal. Yeah, but you know who has the better mac and cheese wrap? Yeah, Clifton. Yep. You know, it, it ain't going to get no better than that. And I, I guarantee you, these are going to be dinky in comparison. So. Yeah, man. That's what Clifton needs but, to do. He needs to make pig, rib his, his yeah, uh, they, turnt they, in yeah. mac and cheese wrap. There you go. And bring it back. Oh my Doc God, I yes, radio work. Doc, I tell you what, man, it's just something about that. Ooh. It's time for the round table. Wait a minute, gals. wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What if you did the mac and cheese burnt in wrap, right? Yeah. But instead I of like using, where you're going here. Instead of using a tortilla, right? You used a smoked bologna to wrap it. Oh no, there you go. Now you're on to something. That. <laughs> 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 That could be a bestseller. Oh, my goodness gracious. Brought to you each and every weekday morning by our friends at the Cabin Rural Health Services. Oh, man. Yeah, we eat a couple of them smoked bologna wraps, and we are going to need Cabin Rural Health Services. 
Because they're on a mission, folks, to meet the health care needs of you guys out in Calhoun, Clark Valley, Mount Elmson, Lafayette, Washtenaw, and Union Counties. They're patient-centered, financially viable, and not-for-profit. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Vaccinate. Find out everything you need to know at Cabin Rural Health Services. Call them, 870-798-4299. See what Cabin can do for you. Mm. Stories, floor, and carpet. 2004 Lorraine in El Dorado. They do more than just flooring. Yeah. They do custom top back specials, countertops, yeah. yeah. bathrooms, oh. and more. Ooh. Woo. And they invite you to visualize. You visualize. Yeah, that's right. You can see that new flooring project online at storiesfloor.com. Hello. Upload your photo into their visualizer. Visualize. See your options. options. 12 month no interest financing going on out at Stories Floor and Stories Floor and Carpet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, throughout the month of October. So you're running out of time if you want to take advantage of that. Yep. Call 870-862-9446. Everybody's Antiques down in El Dorado, Corner, Bradley, and West Hillsboro. 120 booths, 31,000 square feet. Shop them online at everybody'santiques.com. Or call 870-875-1444. Yep, yep, yep. Mitch Lowe's Body Shop. Auto body collision, repair, framework, glasswork, refinishing. Accidents happen. If you put it in the ditch, you better go up. Maria. At Mitch Lowe's Body Shop, 837-2560, OCMCCDU, reminding you that you are not alone. I'm not? You're not alone. I'm not alone. There's someone else around you. Somebody's watching me. Yes. I got this feeling. I Somebody's feel watching like me. Somebody's watching Shh. All right, yes, that's right. Those thrilling moments. OCMC CDU, reminding you you're not alone, man. It's no laughing matter, but if you do need professional help, please seek it out. Call these folks. They are the best in the business. 870-836-1289, 1-800-232-1289. All calls are confidential. That's, that's what they need to do for their Halloween haunted house. Shh. No, 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 no. No? Show all the uh, the bad side effects of what happens. So, you know, pretty some, sure they have a video of that, Doc Bryce. No, no, no. Do an actual haunted house. So you have to walk through it. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Put, people, on, people put on, on the drunk goggles before it, you go. You know, substance, people who are already on substance abuse, people who don't substance abuse, just run everybody through there. I mean, you know, scare them straight. Oh, I like the concept. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> First Choice Family Care, reminding you that they are now open from 7 to 7 for all your medical needs. Because reminding you seems to be a theme this morning. 476 Hospital mm-hmm. Drive in Camden, 870-800-9002. They're now open from 7 to 7 for all your medical needs. Dr. Smith and staff, First Choice Family Care, New Patient Packet, MyFirstChoiceCare.com. St. John's Place in Fort Eisen, Washington, Nursing and Rehab in Camden, the choice for all of your rehabilitation long-term care needs. They provide award-winning short-term therapy services to reach St. John's Place by dialing. <gasps> 870-352-2104 or online at St. John's Place of Arkansas.com and Washington Nursing and Rehab by calling 870-836-4111 or online at WashtenawNursing.com. And I'm not even working hard on that second breath. <sighs> there we go, guys and gals. Today, our our buddy Janelle, Janelle Reeves, yeah, she is going to be over at Noped from 1 to 2. Doing an HR workshop for small business. Why is she over here right now? Uh, well, she, she don't like us. She's, she says flow now. She doesn't even it, bother to call us anymore. Is it because of what I said on Facebook? Probably. You know, so, I don't even know what you did, but you, I, God knows you did it wrong. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just going off a law of averages. She's, she's, been, she's been challenging my post. Well, you know, that's because your posts are challenging. Well, they're not challenging to me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Janelle Reeves, uh, MBA Center Director, ASBTDC at SAU in Magnolia. Uh-huh. What does all that mean, you might ask? Uh, what does all that mean, I'm asking? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's the Arkansas Small Business Technology Development Center at SAU Magnolia. Uh-huh. And uh, she's got an MBA. And she is the center director, and she she plays basketball. You, no, she's not in the MBA. She has an MBA, so she has a basketball team. There you go. Oh, okay. I'm glad you clarified that. Uh, yeah, me too. You know, I think we'll be back. 
Good morning, South Arkansas. It's time for the Washtenaw River Report for Tuesday, October 24th. In Camden, the current gauge reading is 5.86 feet. Argadelvia currently at 3.92 feet. At Thatcher Lock and Dam, the current gauge reading is 77.25 feet. And at Morro Bay State Park, the gauge is still holding steady at 64 feet. Currently, no river warnings in effect, but here's something interesting. While the natural state may have become the official nickname for Arkansas, an informal moniker might be even more popular. The state has long been known as the Bear State. Black bears roam the state thanks to the abundance of wilderness areas here. Arkansas has also made efforts to conserve the bear population after it began to dip after the 1930s. Stay up to date with your current river conditions right here every weekday morning. It's time to check the Radio Works South Arkansas Community Bulletin Board. Elliott Baptist Church is hosting a fall festival on Sunday, October 29th at 5 p.m. There will be food, fun, fellowship, games, and more. Everyone is welcome. Elliott Baptist is located at 4189 Highway 376 South. Call 231-6411 for more information. Don't miss the fall festival at Elliott Baptist Church, Sunday, October 29th at 5 p.m. It's time for Hampton Happenings, brought to you every Tuesday and Thursday by our friends out at ProMed Ambulance. Don't forget, their priority care membership is underway right now at ProMed. Dial 870-864-8899 for more information. In Hampton, the school district is celebrating Red Ribbon Week, not this week, but next week. Be sure to show your pride. Monday will be Rally in Red. Tuesday, drugs are scary. That's when we want you to wear Halloween costumes. The principal will send out information regarding dress code for that. Wednesday is hats off to being drug free. Thursday is twin day. And Friday, extremely black and gold. It's all part of Hampton School District's Red Ribbon Week celebration. All week, Halloween week. And that's what's happening in Hampton. Brought to you by these folks right here. In an emergency, getting help is top priority. But when an ambulance is needed, are you prepared for the cost? Hello, this is Ken Kelly with ProMed Ambulance, reminding you that the annual Priority Care Ambulance Membership Drive is underway. Just pennies a day can eliminate unexpected costs, provide peace of mind for you and your family, and ensure high-quality ambulance service is always available. Don't delay. Enrollment ends November 30th. To join, contact ProMed Ambulance, El Dorado Fire Department EMS, or call toll-free 1-800-634-0436. Again, that's one 800 634 0436. Help save lives and save money. Join today. Priority care when it matters the most. Taking a look at your Tuesday forecast, it's going to come with partly cloudy skies and temperatures reaching near 86. Tonight, expect mostly clear skies and an overnight low near 65. For Wednesday, partly cloudy, temperatures near 84. Then on Wednesday night, a few clouds from time to time and an overnight low near 67. For Thursday, it'll be mostly cloudy with temperatures reaching near 83. Then on Friday, more clouds than sun and temperatures near 86. Out of the Radio Works Weather Center, I'm JJ. Caution. Listening to this radio show may cause loss of friends, reduced work output, amplified fecal velocity, ingestion of hot liquids into the sinuses, incontinence, your family to move out of state, spontaneous impersonations of Dwayne the Rock Johnson, gassy elbows, significant increase in willy goo, soreness in nipples and door jams, increased urges around barnyard animals, a degradation of masonry skills, uncontrollable miming, and fire. All were similar to sugar pills. Back on the round table. The First Things First tour is coming up, Doc Bryce. Oh, yeah? Featuring Consumed by Fire, Stars Go Dim, and Cliff Preston. I know that dude. They will be performing at the First Financial Music Hall on Wednesday, November 1st. We like that dude. Cliff's a good guy, man. Doors to the event will open at 6 with the concert starting at 7. Ticket prices range from 15 to 30 bucks, and are on sale now at eldomad.com. You have your uh, church group or you know youth group or whatever wants to go, you can get a 10% discount by calling the box office with your group of 20 or more. 870-444-3007. Seating is reserved. And what else? 
please announce our fall festival this Sunday, 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 October 29th, 5 p.m., food, games, and more going on at Elliott Baptist Church. Everybody is invited. Even me? Even you, Doc Bryce. Oh, that's so cool. They usually... want everybody to come out and have a little bit of fun. Usually the churches kind of run me off. Well, yeah, but they'll feed you this time. Ooh, even better. Yeah, food, games, and more. Elliott Baptist Church's Fall Festival this Sunday at 5 o'clock. And upcoming events. We have the Downtown Trick-or-Treating and the Trace. I love how they put that. It's just the Trace. Yeah. It's not the Boo Bash. It's the Trace. So uh, you can go to the other end of the trace, and y'all have all sorts of fun with that. Or you can come down to the boo bag. Well, you know they did that on purpose. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's because we're not allowed to get billing, right? Well, no, it's because everybody knows what boo bash is, and so automatically everybody's going to go boo bash. See, so if they just go, the trace. Oh, that's like, true. Oh, then they'll be like, must oh, not be yeah, doing we'll, boo bash this We'll be year. doing the downtown then. I guess we'll go know? to the downtown network. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> this, this was obviously put together by the downtown network. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's, it's fine. You know, I mean, we we show them love. They're you know? jealous of our success. You know, I I, I heard that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yanni, and we even broke out off some love for them. You know, during the chili cook-off and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, well, this was know? this. They wrote all that before the chili cook-off, though. Well, they've got the chili cook-off and car show on here. I mean, they, they didn't give me billing or or even say that it was featuring you. But you know, I mean, yeah, see, jealousy. They're they're jealous of our of our exposure. Yeah, that that when you put our name yeah. out there, you better be careful, or I will expose myself. <laughs> oh my! I don't think you can do that. Even if you. Oh do, wait, you, that did not sound right at all, did it? <laughs> no, because even if even if you know certain people in this town, I don't think you, you still can't get away with that. Yeah, no, nobody want to see all of that <laughs> anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Downtown <laughs> trick or treating <laughs> and the Ooh. trace. Yeah, let's just go with it. Okay. Uh, starting at 3 o'clock in downtown. Now, the Boo Bash on the Trace starts at 3.30. Don't 3:30. show up early, neither. I mean, you, you people always yeah, show up us, early. Give us time and, to set up, And, you know, up, I mean, we're, we're like, dude. You know, I mean, so, you know, give us a few minutes. Yeah, because they're already, you know, they're already there with the bag out and everything. Yeah, I mean, the going. kids are tapping their toes and they're like, come on, fat man. Yeah, you know, I'm like, the, really? Yeah, show us the candy, man. Give us the candy. So, uh, yeah, anyway, like, I'm, ain't even set up yet. I'm not on, saying man. the little crumb snatchers are, are uh, you know, ungrateful or anything. I'm just saying they're impatient. Yes, very impatient. Yes. You know what? You'll get your candy when you get you your candy. Shut up, Sam! There's a bench right over there. Go sit. <laughs> <laughs> those radio people are not very nice people. Those, those are nasty people. Doc Bryce is a bad man. Yes, Doc Bryce is a bad man. JJ's good. I actually had that as a uh, image once because I <laughs> captured a child saying you're a bad man. <laughs> it actually turned that into a. Oh yeah, see, I would have loved that. Turned it into a liner, and had the voice guy going, "Doc Price," and you hear this kid going, "You're, you're a, a bad, bad man." man. You... <laughs> <laughs> Downtown trick or treating and uh, the boo bash on the thirty first. That's right, we do it on Halloween. Sure. We don't try and do it. On Saturdays no. or anything like that, no. unless Halloween falls on a Saturday. Yeah, so somebody was telling you, hey, uh, you, you need yeah, some The boo bash on Saturday. No. Yeah, that's not that's not the boo bash. Yeah, that's they, somebody they, pretending to boo bash. Yeah, that's a false boo bash. Yeah, that's, that's not the boo bash. They're, they're Bakers. Pre- yeah. yeah, they're scamming you, man. And then uh, November the 2nd, Fashion in Fairview. Uh-huh. Have you heard about this? Uh-uh. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Oh, yeah? They're doing an actual full-fledged fashion show right across the street. Our street? Yes. What? Right over at the uh, event center at Fairview Park. Really? Yes, sir. Do Bob kid tell. And it's going to be featuring our local vendors. Oh. All of their fashions that are hot and uh, popular. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, the, the, the girls each get like 10 wardrobe changes. So, I mean, it's not going to be something that just uh, happens in five minutes uh-huh. and it's done. And well, so I will have more information about that as it becomes more readily available. So, they're going to milk this thing out. Oh, yeah. For all baby, I'm here to tell you, and it's going to be fun. 
I'm it's looking gonna, forward to it. They're going to turn it into an all-day event. You know, I bet they don't do that uh, that that, <laughs> that uh, scotch tape thing that, that they're doing on the New York runways, though. Oh? Well, maybe it's not scotch tape. It, it's electrical tape. Have not, you seen not, this? Not duct tape? No, they're using electrical tape, and they are making outfits. What? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they, they tape your body, uh-huh. and, and they just kind of barely tape the naughty parts. Oh. And, and then they send these girls parading down the runway. Down the runway, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm going to the runway. And some of them girls, uh-huh. they need more than, than a thin strip of duct tape, because, I mean, you know, some of that stuff, you don't want to see. I'm just saying. They got spillage. He definitely got spillage. Ooh. And then on November the 3rd, it'll be the first Friday market in downtown Camden. The final first Friday of the year. Crikey. I still can't go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, we'll have football to. Football season is just killing me. We will have to uh, schedule a special first Friday just for Dark Bride. Man, when they did it, the, when they had to do that makeover and they did a first Friday on a first Saturday. Yeah. Oh, that was a great day, because I was able to actually participate. I like going to first Friday. It's just, you know, my schedule doesn't allow me to go because, you know, depending on the time of the year. It's, uh... Yeah. Well, it's always at this time of the year. Yeah, it's always this time of the year that football gets in the way. Yes. And then I can't go. And then all my friends, they miss me. They're like, well, where are you, yeah, man? Yeah, dude, man. Don't you like coming down and hanging out with yeah, us anymore? Yeah, man. What, you think you're all... What the heck, man? You're all bigger than us Yeah, now, you're better man. than everybody, huh, Doc you Bryce? Because you think you're on the radio, man. You think you just... No, man. I got to go do football. Uh-huh. That's mean... what he's telling everybody. You know, football runs itself. <laughs> where were you on those Friday oh, nights? I'm sorry. I... I couldn't even get away with that one. <laughs> you know, I, I don't recall being solo. I haven't been off a Friday night yet. So, my gosh! And you notice our football people all run Max? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> what is up with that? She's in rice. I mean, will you people buy an Android phone and a regular laptop? Poor, poor brother Don. For God's sake! <laughs> He's trying to get technical support over the phone when I'm in Hot Springs in the middle of a wedding. And, and he can't get on the air because his, his, his software crapped out. Right. And I'm trying to run him through. Now, I know how to do it on a PC. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's bip, bip, bip. You do this. Done. And then you do that so you can do this. And then he's like, he's like, but I'm on a Mac. And I'm like, oh, well, you're on your own. I, I don't know anything about Mac. <laughs> Dude, I got to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You were all right till you showed up with an iPhone and a Mac. I was like, you know, I was like, man, the wedding's about to start. I gotta get this bride down the aisle. Um, Let me let you go for a little bit and see if you can figure it out. I'll check in on you after we get done with the ceremony, which I did. Let let me know how that works out for you. (laughs) And in the meantime, during the ceremony, somehow he figured it out and was able to get get everything situated. Thank goodness. So he he managed to solve it, and and I checked back in. He said, "Oh, we good, we good." I said, "All right then." Because I wouldn't have been able right to help there. you out anyway. It's Cause. a good doggone thing, you know. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know a darn thing about a Mac. I don't know a thing about love. My, my goodness gracious. <laughs> hey, you know, everybody knows someone who's still single, Doc. You're single, right? Stingle? Yep, you are definitely stingle. Stingle? What, 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 what does that mean, stingle? Does that well, mean I'm stingy and single, or...? Stagnant and single. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I could go with that. Well, a lot of the people probably say that it bothers you more than it does them. All right? Who? Yeah, you. Me? Not you. It them. bothers the person who's single? No. more. Well, it bothers the other person who's not single more than it bothers the person who's single? Yes. Okay. You, you with me now? Okay. Did that make sense? Yes. Okay. People on social media are explaining the obvious reasons why their single friends are still single and they seem to be oblivious to it they're they're single friends uh-huh. they're oblivious to these facts are you ready so i'm oblivious to the fact I'm, that, I'm that, single. that you have character issues okay you know like he's not as nice a person as he thinks he is right uh-huh yeah or or maybe he's just too confident 
have zero self esteem <laughs> or too has confident. a total lack of self control. Wow, man, they they have a picture of Doc Bryce right next to that one. Okay, okay, I am none of those things. <laughs> Some mentioned attitude issues. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. There was one on that list. There zero self esteem. No, 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 no. Total lack of self control. No. Too confident. No, the one that was being cranky. Mentioned character issues. He's not a nice person. Yes. As not as nice of a person as he thinks he is. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I don't think I'm a nice person. I know I'm not a nice person. Yeah, well, there you go. I do that on purpose. Let's see. It, it uh, keeps the lovesick hens away. Smell bad. What? You smell bad. I smell nice. You, and I all the and we, smell we're nice. going to assume these are cases when it's a conscious laziness with personal hygiene. I get told he, all the time. I'm, he I'm, drinks beer in the shower, ladies. I mean, you'll come on. It's here in the summer on the you weekend. Know, I mean, you'll come on. Some said the person has an unrealistic impression of themselves. Oh, God, no, I don't. Even lying to themselves about their effort, like living a healthy lifestyle. Oh, no. Yeah. You should see what I eat and drink. Uh Some said that the person has unrealistic expectations for a partner. That's actually the other way around. It's okay to have high standards, but people expect everyone they date to be perfect. No, actually, it's always their high expectations <laughs> put on me, and I'm like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Some say that the uh, person doesn't know how to sell themselves. Oh, I know how to sell. You also have to have interest for someone to be interested in you. Yeah, see, yes, that's, yes, that's, that's my true. biggest problem here. Being a city boy in a country boy town. See? Yeah, you just don't know what to be interested in. No, 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 no. The problem is I don't do the things that the country boys do around here to attract the girls because the girls are looking for the country boys. See, I'm a city boy in a country boy world, and therefore I don't do all that country boy stuff. So they're like, mm, there's something wrong with that yes. one. Like the person can't stop living in the past. Oh, but those yeah, were such good times, yeah, man. Yeah. Those were good times. The person has an unappealing internet record. Huh? It's common to Google someone, especially with online dating, or to link up on social media where you can see a person's post going back years. Now, remember, guys and gals, be very careful about what you post online, even when you think you're anonymous. Uh Internet posts have a way of sticking around. Nothing ever gets deleted. Another reason why uh, your friend might still be single is they talk too much. Or worse, they're too self-centered. Or they work in radio. Or they're too clingy. They can't commit to anything. Or they need constant validation. You know what? I've had the same phone for the past five years. I know a thing or two about commitment. Uh Uh-huh. And and I've had the same phone number going on almost 20 years. The same phone number. My friends, they change their phone numbers like they change their underwear. Every time I turn around, I'm calling somebody else because I'm like, hey, is so-and-so there? And they're like, who's that? And I'm like, oh, that's not you. Who is this, man? Bill, you, you sound a whole lot different. Yeah, so my friends. Did you get friends, one of them change uh, operations? My, my friends change their phone numbers faster than, uh, yeah. So I know a thing or two about commitment. I mean, I'm going on, uh, so let's see, 2005. Yeah, so I mean, I'm going on almost 20 years of the same phone number. Haven't changed. Are you trying the online dating thing yet? Oh, I looked at that, and I threw it away. You know, the uh, biggest disadvantage to online dating is that your parents are less involved in helping you find a date, right? Uh-huh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But Tinder is apparently serious about it. Tinder has just announced a few new features, and one of them is a matchmaking option, which allows you to send profiles to friends and family and let them weigh in. Oh, that's been on there the idea is that it can help you find out if a potential match passes the friends test and if they'll get your parents approval Uh friends and family will also be able to recommend matches to you won't that be fun (laughs) the people who you invite to weigh in do not have to have tinder accounts themselves and don't worry, they aren't able to do anything on your behalf, including liking profiles or messaging potential dates. Oh, thank God. Although I think I'd want to know if you're the type of person who's bringing your parents into this process. I'm just 
saying, y'all, give me a call and let me know if you're you're asking your mom or whatever. You get you get mom has that way of being approval or of giving approval or you maybe she's you know not so approval rated or or leaning towards approval and she wants to be you know maybe disapproving uh-huh. of said date but she doesn't necessarily want to be mean about it so uh-huh. mom learned how to be <laughs> passive aggressive you know what i mean yeah mom has gotten really good at being passive aggressive now now how's that was supposed to work out if if the people that you're trolling through are the women right because because i'm i'm the dude right so i'm i'm looking for the <laughs> we're lady. taking a lot on faith but sure go ahead okay so how's that supposed to work if most of the women i'm searching through are strong and independent women because they always put that out there. I don't get that. Why they got to put that out there? And they'd be like me making a profile. Go, I'm a strong, independent man. It's like, so I pay my bills, and I buy groceries, and I function to stay alive. So these strong, independent women have basically successfully admitted that they can do basic life skills. Yes. And they're proud of that. Yes. But it's cringe if a guy goes, I'm a strong, independent man. Well, that's because you're expected to be. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> but then the other one that kills me, too, is the ones that, that, that put up there. My children are the most important thing in my, my life. Or they're my world. I'm like, well, I hope so. Well, I mean, you had them. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they better be important. <laughs> I don't want to I mean, be, uh, like, checking somebody out or possibly, you know, get it, taking interest in someone who's a terrible parent. Right. And, uh, you know... <laughs> Just leave their kids. Behind. Oh no, it's fine. Let's let's go. He he'll be okay. He'll sleep through the weekend. But he's three. <laughs> so there you go. Well, see, and that's that's where mom comes in with her passive aggressive things to tell you that uh yeah you know that those, is not those, a strong independent woman. Those passive aggressive <laughs> things that moms say when they don't like who you're dating, like you're so brave to date whoever you want, uh, or, or where in the world did you two meet? Or, or I love this one. What I think doesn't matter. I love it when mom says that. What I think doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I assume he makes a lot of money. That's what mother says, right? You know, mm-hmm. when, when she's trying to be passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, if that's who you want to date, okay then. I or did. or, or <laughs> you must really like him. Uh huh. When mom looks at you and says, what happened to your previous boyfriend? She's being passive aggressive, right? right? Because she doesn't like who you're dating Well, you know, now. it is it's, it's like an interview process. Yeah. And when mom looks at you and says, I love you no matter who you date, that is a red flag. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying. And the number one way that you know that mom is being passive aggressive and she doesn't like who you're dating. Are you ready? Uh-huh. He reminds me of your father. Oh, yes. That means that's, she's masculine. Oh, uh, I'm telling you now. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. Just a couple of those passive aggressive things. She's you got a, anything you want to add? She's a dude. Dude looks like, like a lady. lady, man. Okay, so. Uh, she reminds me a lot of your father. Uh, <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, like she needs to shave, too. Really. Yeah, what's up with that five o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know girls had Adam's apples. I, I've met some girls that have a uh, peach fuzz, you know, yeah, like, yeah. nice little thin five o'clock mustache. That is dark, bro. <laughs> yeah, work. Well, I can't help it. All right, uh, you got anything you want to add to any of this? No. You don't want to go on the record anywhere, anytime. No, because I've said my piece on Facebook. Everybody knows where I stand. Two hour roll. Uh huh. Don't tell me you're a strong, independent woman, because that just tells me you can handle basic life skills. So can I. And uh, maybe maybe together y'all could come up with a cohesive agreement. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing too. When she would always gripe about, I need help with half the chores. Yeah, I, I help with this and help around the house and everything else. And I'm thinking, well, who's going to help me with my half of the chores? Because my chores is to mow the lawn, change the oil, change the brakes, tune up the vehicles, do stuff outside, and then uh, yeah, and then you want me to come in and do half your chores. Yes. But I don't see you uh, up underneath the truck changing oil. Uh-huh. Well, you know, she would if you'd get out the way. 
<laughs> Are you I'm kidding just me? Saying. When, the last time, the last two times I worked on my ex wife's vehicle, because, you know, that's expected that I do those things. So, like, when I did her brakes and changed her brakes, uh, uh, pads, and rotors all the way around. Consequently, that was the last time we heard from her. So. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Boy, strike that, strike that. M- missed opportunities. So. And then and then, then her alternator went bad, and I had to change that, right? So I did that. Oh, and her air conditioner stopped working. She had one of those uh, automatic uh, temp control ATC things on uh, her, on her truck. Yeah, I got one of those. And I fixed it. So I fixed all this stuff. Was she there helping me? No. What was she doing? She's out shopping. I'm going to go shopping and visiting with friends. While I'm outside in the heat working by myself. Which would have been nice to have a helper to go, hey, can you get that for me over there? Instead of having to come out from underneath the vehicle. I'll need another beer now. Having to come out from under the vehicle, get up off the ground, go walk across the garage. Get Get your own beer. Yeah, I understand. (laughs) Beer, tool, whatever. (laughs) And then get back on the ground, up underneath. See, no. See, that tells me right there she did not appreciate it. She expected me to do those things. So it wasn't a matter of, I appreciate that he does those things and knows how to do them. It was, no, he's going to do them. Just like I'm going to do half the house chores. But who was helping me with half the work on the truck? You know, that, that is Doc Bryce that is feeling so left out. No, I don't feel left out. I just finally realized, wait a minute. It's one of those things where somebody tells you that you're going to do this, that, that, this. You're like, okay. And then years later, you kind of have an epiphany while you're drinking your shower beer. And you're like, hey. <laughs> How come things that happen to stupid people keep happening to me? <laughs> so there Seven you go. Seven years later, it's like, wait a minute, I got conned. <laughs> All right, guys, and gals, it's the round table brought to you each and every weekday morning by a whole slew of sponsors, including St. John's Place in Fort Hudson, <laughs> Washington Nursing and Rehab in Camden. Call them up, 870-352-2104-836-4111. First Choice Family Care. 476 Hospital Drive, now open from 7 to 7 for all your medical needs. Call them, 870-800-9002. OCMC CDU, reminding you you're not alone. Addiction's tough. Call 870-836-1289, 1-800-2-1289. All calls are confidential. Please get the help you need. Mitch Lowe's Body Shop, Auto Body Collision Repair Framework, Glasswork Refinishing. If you put it in the ditch, you better call... Maria. At Mitch Lowe's Body Shop, 837-2560. At least they share the workload. Everybody's <laughs> Antiques down in El Dorado Corner, Bradley and West Hillsboro. 120 booths, 31,000 square feet for you to explore. Shop them online, everybody's antiques.com, or call 870-875-1444. Stories, floor, and carpet. 2004 Lorraine in El Dorado doing more than just flooring. Custom top backs, places, countertops, bathrooms, and more. And they invite you to visualize. Visualize. Check your uh, project online, upload your photo into their visualizer. Visualize. See your options. options. And uh, 12 months, no interest financing. Yeah. yeah. Call 870-862-9446. Cabin Rural Health Services, whose mission it is to meet the health care needs of the folks in Calvin Clark, Bradley, Miller, Bay, Washita, and Union Counties. <sighs> Call 870-798-4299 and see what cabin can do for you. Doc Bryce, what you got? Well, I think we're going to do some Glenn Beck. All right, you do that, and, well, I'll do this. I did. Your name here. News Talk 92 KBEU Bearded. News Talk for South Arkansas. News Talk 92 KBEU. Hello, South Arkansas. I'm Doc Bryce. Let's talk news. In a recent update from the Hampton Police Department, a significant development in a case involving stolen firearms has occurred. On October.